All right, yeah, so staying in line with 2K23's rollout schedule that they presented earlier this week, today we received a bunch of information about mocap, motion capture on NBA 2K23. Looks like we're getting some new animations as we got motion capture from Zion, Devin Booker, and also J. Cole. There's also rumors that J. Cole is going to be a playable character. We finna get right into it. Drop a like, drop a sub if you can. So we're gonna take a look at J. Cole's motion capture session that 2k recorded and you're gonna see some of the animations he's going through the actual dialogue because he is part of the my career storyline on nba 2k 23 so you see him playing that out in the background there but you're also gonna see him with his shooting animations and dunking animations which is pretty dope again rumors that j cole is gonna be a playable character during the my career storyline so similar to previous versions of 2k where you had that option to play I think as I forgot the dude's name juice or something like that I forgot the dude's name but way back when you was able to change your character for a game or two during the storyline there goes his dunk animation generic dunk animation with the clap on the backboard and this is the snippet of information that we got saying that J. Cole is a playable character it says J. Cole is on the cover for NBA 2K23's Dreamer Edition this version of the game will be available at GameStop in the US and Canada he will also be playable in the game's my career mode accompanied by fellow Dreamville artists Baz and Elite. Now let's take a look at Zion Williamson's motion capture. He has some new animations in here. Most of the dunks seem pretty generic. This is a block animation, hands down. That'll be a block dunk animation. But there's one dunk animation in particular that's pretty cold. As you guys see the standing dunk generic. But I think it's this one that just goes crazy. That dunk animation right there is gonna be cold on NBA 2K23 with the self Ali you reverse dunk. And this is Devin Booker's uh, motion capture session here. He's making his way into motion capture. So you guys are going to get some updated animations for Devin Booker. And I'm pretty sure he's part of the storyline as well. So they wanted to capture that too. But you're going to see one cold dunk animation that he has in this uh, particular motion capture session. And I, we're just going to watch it through and see. It got to be really weird to go into that suit and have all this stuff on you. But it's got to be dope to see the after effects, you know, when it's all said and done and see yourself in the game. I would be I would be really excited to make that happen. I like that shot animation and that dunk animation was pretty cold if you caught that. There's going to be a specific layup animation tied to Devin Booker, if I'm not mistaken. There goes the fadeaway. And I got to tell you guys, I'm really hoping that 2K went all the way with these animations. One thing that we've learned in the past is that there's still canned animations in the game. It's something that's been plaguing 2K for quite a while where both the offense and defensive players lose control. And 2K takes over both players and you guys are stuck for a second or two waiting for 2K to to relinquish that control and then maintain uh, your offense or defense. So I'm hoping that 2K went in, separated some of these canned animations, similar to like when you're going into a steal animation or you're going on a driving dunk animation, you get put into a layup. You know, those are type of canned animations. I'm curious to read what you guys think about the new motion capture for NBA 2K23, the new animations that may be implemented into the game. Sound off in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Keep it locked right here at at All City Live TV because we got a bunch more NBA 2K23 information, news, and updates coming your way. Drop a like, drop a sub on your way out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Easy, y'all.